Okay, so when I sit down every week and kind of make up a list of movies that I'm going to watch for that week, the first thing I, I look at is the movie poster, okay? And I saw the poster for this flick, and I was like, eh, whatever. It's not really drawing any, me in or doing anything for me. And I read the synopsis, you know, and it sounded kind of interesting, but I just had this feeling it was going to be a movie that could kind of go either way, all right? I had, I had no hopes of me liking it or, or anything like that. In fact, I didn't even know if it was going to be very good. Well, let me tell you, when I shut this movie off, the first thing I did was go and research what the fuck I had just watched. <laughs> I love, absolutely love movies like this. This has to be some uh, psycho sensory manipulation, collective hallucination. It's, 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 it's not real. The devil, the seas have always been think that this is proof of Christian divinity? The Bermuda Triangle? The Devil's Triangle. Hey guys, welcome to Happy Wax TV. Okay, tonight we are talking about the movie called Eminence. Now, Unlike my review I just posted for the movie Slapface, I am going to be very vague and I do not want to spoil this movie at all and I'm going to keep this one short, okay? I thought this movie was fantastic. Now, this is going to be a movie where a lot of people are going to love it and probably an equal amount of people are going to fucking hate it. And I... Listen, I don't want to offend anybody, but I can only imagine, I've already read some comments on other platforms, and it's exactly how I thought it was going to go. Some people loved it, and other people fucking hate it, and it's everyone that hated this movie or gave it a bad review is saying the same fucking thing, okay? And what it boils down to is they don't understand what the fuck's going on in this movie, especially the ending, okay? I ha listen, I love movies like this that make you think, okay, and don't have everything spelled out in front of you. Now, I am probably the least religious person you will ever meet. I know nothing about religion, okay, which is what has intrigued me about this movie because I didn't even know it was going to go in that direction. And I don't want to spoil it, but there's obviously scenes in this movie where there's Jesus on the cross and some other stuff, okay? But it's like a cross between extraterrestrials and religion. And it says it right in the trailer and right in the synopsis. So no spoilers there at all. Okay, that's what you're going to get. These, these radio astronomers get this signal, okay? And before anyone else can get there, like, like NASA and anybody else, they, they, they get, I don't know exactly what he is. He's kind of one of these uh, guys that uh, is, is looking for Christ or real... Um, you know, situations where, where Christ has appeared and, and, and God has made his presence known. And it, played by Michael Beach, who plays Jonah in this movie. And the Jonah character in the Bible uh, plays a part in this movie. Again, I, don't, I didn't know anything about this Jonah figure from, from the Bible, okay? But they hire him because he has a boat, all right? And they, they take him out. So all these scientists... And then there's Michael Beach, who, who is this skeptic, right? Who, who you know, had this, this thing happen to him years ago, and he's been trying to find real events ever since. And it's funny because when the, the opening of the movie, like in the first act, we, we get a character breakdown and some background of each of these characters, right? And, and Jonah is sitting in on an exorcism, or an exorcism. <laughs> and what does he do? while the priest is trying to exercise this, this demon from this guy, is Jonah pulls a gun on the guy apparently possessed, and then he just jumps up and he's like, what are you doing? What are you? And he's like, I thought you were possessed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's just, that's what he does. He goes around and, and he just, you know, finds all the bullshit. Because does it really happen? We don't know, but that's what he's trying to find. Anyways, that's his character and it was awesome. Michael Beach is a fantastic actor. You could put him in almost any role in any movie and he'll kill it. He is, he is awesome. So he, listen, the acting is on point in this movie with everyone. Okay. But again, I don't want to get too much in to like the second and third act, because if I do, it's going to spoil this movie for you. This is one of these flicks 
where you just need to go into it blind. Okay, read the synopsis. Okay, but don't don't investigate this movie till after it's done because trust me, you'll be investigating it after it's done. And this the ending of this movie, the very ending of this movie is is definitely open for interpretation because everyone's going to see it different. Everyone. All right, but it's just if you're like me and you don't follow religion at all, like there were scenes in the second act of this movie where they're on the boat and they've they've you know pinpointed this signal and it's like they're having this argument between you know extraterrestrial beings possibly or a religious act which is what Jonah's saying and I, listen I had no idea what he was talking about like I I know a little tiny bit of of religion but some of the stuff when he was like referencing the Bible and certain um, you know acts and, and stuff like that like and a lot of it takes place around the sea and stuff i had no idea like i was like what this is all fucking new to me so i, I love that i love not knowing about something and then having to go research it after the movie's done and you probably will okay because i like it's not it's not so far out there that you're not going to grasp what's happening but it's just like the the, the the third act and and you know near the end there's certain events that happen okay and you might not know exactly what's going on or you might need an explanation i know i did i went and researched it <laughs> so that's, that's why i love these fucking movies that's why it's just it's mind-boggling to me when i read reviews of of other people and they just don't get it and they're too fucking lazy to go and research it after the movie's over Again, I've said this in a lot of other reviews. People like that are people who like movies like The Nun or Halloween Kills. <laughs> They're just, they need every frame of the fucking movie explained to them in the simplest fashion so that they fucking get it. I always think back to Big Trouble in Little China when Lo Pan said to Jack Burton, Shut up, Mr. Burton. You are not brought upon this world to get it. And that's why I love movies like this. Okay, it's, it's just, I, you know, it doesn't happen a lot, but I just, these movies that sometimes I don't fully grasp the ending, I just, I love researching them after to try and come to my own conclusion as to what happened. I thought this movie was great. That, that aside, this movie is fantastic. It's got great acting. It's very well directed and written. Okay, Carrie... Balesa is, is a, a relatively new director. I think this is only his second feature film. All right. And he also wrote it. All right. Now, a lot of times I say, you know, the, the director and the writer should not be the same person. In this case, it is, but it's got a nice runtime and it just keeps moving. There's not really any like filler. There really isn't. Every part of this movie is a clue. Even the poster, now that I've seen this movie, even the poster that I didn't really appreciate in the beginning is a clue to what's going on in this movie. Okay. But there's, this is not a movie you can get up and walk away from and come back five, 10 minutes later, because you'll miss a whole bunch of clues from the, from the opening act to the very end. It's just clues as to what's happening and what's going to happen. It's just Oh, and this is a low budget movie too. This isn't like some, some multi-million dollar flick. This is a, a relatively, I wouldn't call it a micro budget, but it's, you know, it didn't have a massive budget and it takes place mostly on this boat. Well, there's, there's two, but I, again, I don't want to get into spoilers. Okay. So I'm staying vague. Maybe I'll do another review on it. Uh, a spoiler review later in a couple weeks to give it a rating, probably give it a really strong seven. Again, I didn't go into this flick with any sort of excitement or it was just like, meh, I'll watch it and get it over with. No, I'm probably going to watch this a couple more times. I, I thought it was fantastic. Now, again, and I've said this earlier, some of you are going to hate it, okay? And I get it. I get it. And I'm going to hear it in the comment section every time I post a review for one of these style of movies where they don't explain everything, I always get people in the comments, oh, this was stupid, oh, the cinematographies, oh, it's all over the place. Well, when you say it's all over the place, it normally means that you're not getting what they're saying. I, I'm guilty of it too. So I'm just, listen, watch this movie. I highly recommend it. I wouldn't steer you wrong. If it was a piece of shit, I would say straight up it's a piece of shit. This movie is wonderful. Definitely watch it. It's called Eminence. Don't miss it. If you've seen it, 
Let me know what you think. If you haven't, again, go rent it and then come back and let me know what you think. And until next time, guys, take care.